Hello! We're going to do another short video for another project I'm going to have ongoing while I'm working on some other stuff. So let me let me bring this over here real quick. This is, okay, wait a minute. Wait, uh. Okay, there we go. Whew. This is a new game that I'm getting ready to play called Black Powder epic scale American Civil War and first off uh, this is by Warlord Games um, you know they they don't I don't they're not a sponsor or anything I just love their stuff so hey first off we got a book this is uh, the glory hallelujah book it's basically uh, about the colorations and the commanders and stuff and the rules for specific units and uh, things like that in the Civil War. So that's kind of goes along. It's kind of a supplement to all this. Well, let's get into this. First off, look at this thing. This this is this is this is big. And heck, it's. Geez. About six inches tall, too, so good lord. <sighs> Let's see what we got. Oh, good lord. What have I gotten myself into? All right, so first off, we have the Black Powder Mini Rule Book. That's nice. This tells you how to play the game. Uh, this is specific information for playing civil war battles in the game on an epic scale so black powder is um a basic uh i think it's 25 or can be played with 25 millimeter miniatures epic scale is 15 millimeter so i'm guessing there are some uh changes to measurements and things like that now let's see what we got in the box. Bases. Lots and lots of bases. Real quick. So these are nice. The uh, bases are set up for two rows of troops. Uh, these are command bases for horses. And this is an artillery base for your artillery pieces. So... We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, six, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four base sets. And then we've got Obviously, the blue and the gray, the Union and the Confederacy. Now, both of these sprues are the same. There's, there's no difference between the two of them other than the color. So, they're the same molds. They're the same set. You just paint you. Well, I mean, you don't even really have to paint them. I mean... If you wanted to play the game just like this, you could base them all and go right away. Blue and gray, you're good to go. Of course, we know I'm not going to do that. So, I will be painting what looks like... Wow. Um, so, let's see. This... Okay, so it looks like each sprue is a battalion with a command and artillery piece. So that would mean I got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve battalions of Union and Confederate soldiers. To paint. <laughs> now you know why this is going to take, this is going to be an ongoing project. So, and then there's 12 there. And let's see. Oh, 
Oh, sorry about that. I bumped the camera. I uh, got some nice little dice. Those are nice. We have buildings. Flat pack build. Oh, laser cut. Look at that. That's that's nice. Uh, we have what looks like to be two barns and some of that fencing, the zigzag fencing that we see all over uh, Gettysburg and everything. So that's going to be fun. And, oh, flags. We got flags. We got flags, 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 flags. What do we got here? We have American or Union flags. Oh, let's see. We got the 1st Maine, the 20th Indiana, 5th New Jersey. Kind of like the fact, oh, 54th Massachusetts. Nice. Iron Brigade which is Wisconsin and uh, Indiana, Wisconsin, and Michigan Volunteers. Wow, that's really nice. Oh, we also have cavalry guidons. So we get some cavalry units. Really nice, okay. And then we got the Confederates. Uh, the Army of Tennessee battle flag, the Texas state flag. Virginia State, North Carolina, Mississippi, 18th Virginia Regiment, First National Battle Flag of the Confederacy. Nice. Okay, so that's really cool. And last but not least, this was packed for me by Tina C. of Warlord Games. Tina, you did a nice job. Thank you very much. So, let's put the flags back in there. We'll put these on top so they don't get bent up and then move this box out of the way let's get some close-ups of the infantry you know what hang on I'm gonna move the camera all right that's better so there is our infantry as you can see, they don't look too bad. The detail isn't isn't bad at all. It's really nice for this size. And to give you a little bit of a scale, there's my thumb. So, yeah. They're not huge. And then we also have Looks like to be the command line. So we got an officer there. We got two flag bearers and a drummer. And we have down here a brigade commander. And the artillery is in three pieces. So we got one wheel here with two men attached. We got the other wheel down here with two men attached. And then the cannon. So instead of you know having to attach all the guy, they're already mounted to the cannon itself. So let's take a look at the back. There's the command unit. Yeah, they got bed rolls. They got some canteens. Dude on the end's got a what looks to be a Bowie knife. There we go. Sorry about that. Standard. Oh, yeah. Those aren't bad. There's our commander again. Other side. And there's our artillery pieces. There it is. Not bad at all. Okay. So, as you can see, I got a, a lot to paint. There's going to be plenty, plenty of painting to do with this. Um, what I'm probably going to do is a video on painting up each one of each unit. So you'll see one paint, one confederacy, and then one union paint job. And probably a brigade commander and an artillery piece. Because the rest of it I'm going to do, you know... Um, quick style so 
paint one color all the way across one one sprue and kind of move it along that way all right so another quick video um have a great day and stay safe and like i always say until next time keep on modeling i'll talk to you later